If this takes off, launch pads could be a thing of the past. This is the largest plane in the world, but it has yet to take flight, and it's not a passenger plane. So what exactly does it do? The Strato launch plane is comprised of two twin fuselages, massive wings, and is carried by six Boeing 747 engines. With its 117-meter wingspan, the aircraft is wider than a football field. It's designed to carry space-bound rockets with a payload of up to 275 tons. The Strato launch commences takeoff with a rocket attached to its belly. With no payload, the plane weighs around 250 tons. With fuel and a fully loaded rocket, the plane can fly with a maximum takeoff weight of 650 tons. For scale, that's around the same weight as a commercial Airbus A380, carrying 550 passengers. The Strato launch is manned by a three-person crew in the right fuselage, including a pilot, co-pilot, and a flight engineer. The left fuselage cockpit is designed to remain empty and is unpressurized. The rocket is released after the plane reaches 35,000 feet. The rocket then fires its own engine and travels towards its orbit. The plane is designed for air rocket launches in low Earth orbit conditions to become a routine commute. The Strato launch is currently undergoing fuel tests and is expected to make its first launch in 2019. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. The Strato launch system is certainly unconventional, but it's not the only bold space plan on the horizon. SpaceX to fly two tourists around the moon next year. This week, SpaceX announced bold plans to next year fly two paying passengers around the moon using technology that's still in development. In 2018, SpaceX hopes to fly two private citizens deeper into space than any human has journeyed previously. The two travelers will trek some 400,000 miles around and beyond the moon during the seven-day mission before looping back to Earth. Before training for the mission, SpaceX says each of the unnamed passengers will undergo a series of tests for their health and fitness. The passengers are set to travel aboard a SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft, shot into orbit by a multi-stage Falcon Heavy rocket. The still-in-design rocket's first stage consists of three reusable rockets that produce half a million pounds of thrust. After separating, the central rocket propels the payload into orbit, where it continues on its voyage. SpaceX founder Elon Musk says the travelers will be trained for emergencies. However, the Crew Dragon spacecraft, which is also still being developed, will be mainly piloted autonomously. The crew can monitor real-time ship diagnostics, change the temperature, and take in views through one of the vessel's four windows. The spacecraft will conduct a flyby of the surface of the moon before traveling further out into space, where no human has gone before. It will then use the moon's gravity to slingshot back toward Earth. SpaceX hopes to launch the mission in late 2018, following a series of tests on the rocket and spacecraft. The identity of those traveling remains unknown, but one thing's for sure, they're very brave individuals indeed, and possibly also Scrooge McDuck Rich. Hasta la vista, comrade. The future of Russian artificial intelligence is here, and it can dual-wield handguns. Nope. The final experimental demonstration object research robot, or Fedor for short, is capable of accurately firing two pistols at the same time. Come 2021, Moscow expects to see Fedor models aboard the ISS and helping cosmonauts tackle space missions. The machine can operate automatically or can be controlled by a human. Initially developed for rescue operations, Russia hopes to use Fedor for military and educational purposes as well. Russia's deputy prime minister tweeted footage of the robot shooting guns in April. He said they're not making a Terminator, but artificial intelligence. Well, that's a relief, right? Uh, right? New Zealand joins the space race. Test launches for a commercial space rocket built by a startup based both in Los Angeles and New Zealand are scheduled to take place this week. The Rocket Lab Electron is made of carbon composite material, and its rocket boosters use 3D printed Rutherford engines. The rocket's first stage has a cluster of nine electric engines that burn liquid oxygen and refined kerosene. 
The second stage has a single vacuum optimized engine that can carry payloads weighing up to 225 kilograms. The Electron rocket will deliver small satellites into space. They will be used for mapping, to predict the weather, provide high-speed internet, and analyze the environment. Rocket Lab plans to complete three test launches before the Electron is available commercially. The company plans to eventually build and launch one rocket per week, with flights costing around 5 million US dollars each. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. SpaceX plans to launch thousands of internet satellites. SpaceX has filed an application with the US Federal Communications Commission to launch thousands of satellites in order to provide high-speed internet coverage worldwide. SpaceX's satellite system consists of two sub-constellations of space stations. The first, known as the LEO constellation, would be comprised of 4,425 satellites in an orbit of at least 1,150 kilometers above the Earth. Each satellite can provide service up to 43.95 degrees away from Boresight. The second, VLEO constellation, would include 7,518 satellites orbiting about 335.9 kilometers above the Earth. Each satellite can provide service of up to 51.09 degrees from Boresight. The satellites in the LEO constellation can cover approximately 4.5 million square kilometers, while those in the VLEO constellation can cover less than one-tenth of that area. The system is designed to provide broadband and communication services for private and professional users worldwide. The deployment of the satellites is expected to begin in 2019 and be completed by 2024.